Do you guys believe in what you're doing? Or do you just do it because it creates money? That's the difference. See, when you believe in something, you know for a fact that I have to get this product, I have to get the service into this customer's hands. Because every single day they don't have the product, every single day they don't have the service, I'm fucking them in the ass. Because by them not having it, they're fucked. They need it. I give you guys an example. You're a doctor. You're providing medication. Every day the customer does not have their medication, what is that doing to their health? Declining. It's declining and deteriorating. So I know as a doctor, I have to get this product, this medication into this person's hands, and I have to do it now. Because it's my duty and my responsibility as a doctor to do so for my patient, for my client. That's how I feel as a salesperson. Adding value to other people. By me going to the gym, if you're in my sphere of influence, I am talking to you. I'm trying to add value to you. I'm trying to figure out what's important to you. And I do that by asking them questions, by form. Family, occupation, recreation, motivation. Where are you from? You're Colombian? Oh, wow, I just came from Colombia. What, what city? Medellin? Oh, wow, it's amazing. What, da, 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 right? What do you do for work? Oh, you're in construction. That's amazing. How long have you been doing that? What inspired you to begin to get into construction? Do you really like it? Wow, it's amazing. How challenging is that? Do you enjoy what you do? How many employees you got? Blah, 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 blah. You see what I'm doing? I'm asking what? Questions. Questions. I am more interested in them than being interested in me. And because I'm interested in them, they're like, wow, he's adding value to me. And by them talking about what's important to them, I can figure out if my product or service can fill in their need. It's so easy. It's so fucking easy. Right? Recreation. What do they do for fun? Outside of the gym. Right? Motivation. What's inspiring them? What are they trying to accomplish? I always ask people, what are your dreams and goals? What are you shooting for the next couple of years? What do you shoot for the next couple of years? And they will always tell you where they want to go. They will always tell you, oh, I'm trying to open up an art business. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. Really? That's amazing. What's holding you back from getting there today instead of three years from now? And now you're making them what? Think. I'm like, wow, that's a good question. No one ever, never, no one ever fucking gave two squirts of piss about asking me about why I'm not where I want to be. That's so thoughtful of you. And they start connecting with you because you actually care about them, figuring out what's important to them. And when you do so, you build a relationship. By you building a relationship, by default, people are naturally normal and good people. And a good person, if you care about them, is going to say what? I want to care about you. Well, what do you do, motherfucker? And now you say what you need to say. And guess what? Now they're all receptive. They want to what? Reciprocate that beautiful thing you did for them. You made them feel good. Now they want to reciprocate by default. 90 plus percent of people want to reciprocate and now they want to be curious about what you do and what you sell. And they're more likely to buy from you because you gave a shit about them first. True or not true? true. People don't give a crap about how much you know about your product. People don't give a crap about how much you know about your fucking service. They only care about people that care about them. You care about them first, they will care about you by default. Right or wrong? So what happens is now, I'm, by the way guys, I'm broke, 500 bucks of cash. Actually, it's less now because I what? I spent fucking... 40 bucks in the fucking gym. Was it worth it to spend that 40 bucks in the gym? Yeah. Did I go spend it on a hotel? Did I give a shit about sleeping in a fucking car or anywhere? No, I don't care about that, right? I'm worried about where do I find fucking people because where people are at, that's where money is at. Does that make sense? Where do people congregate? That's where I want to be, yes. Brush them into the shower. Aha, which leads me to the little back there. You get a shower, brush your fucking teeth, all that stuff. You can shave, right? Do whatever you got to do, okay? So networking is the number one thing I look for. I'm looking for fucking people to do business with. Now, the second I get out of the gym, it's 9 o'clock, what do I do? Depends. Depends on the product. And I'm selling a product that's business to business. I'm going out there knocking on doors, knocking on businesses, store to store, floor to floor, door to door, right? Everything. No whore to whore, okay? But I'm going there and I'm talking to people. I'm letting people know I am marketing myself. Guys, it's, let me ask you guys a question. Does the best product in the marketplace win or the best known product wins in the marketplace? How many products are big, but they're fucking garbage, but people still fucking buy it? It's the best known product wins. It's not the best product wins. There's a lot of amazing products. There's a lot of amazing services. There's a lot of amazing salespeople. There's a lot of amazing business owners. It's the person that markets the product well or markets the service well wins. It's the best known product that wins, right? So why do I go on social media every single day, every single month? Why do I do this shit? Why do I go on live? Why do I do that stuff? To market me. Because at the end of the day, this whole business fucking goes to shit. The service industry goes to shit. Marola, Marola, Michael Moriah is still fucking here. So I know that if people know me, they're going to flow me. Does that make sense? Nobody would ever say, I want to work for you if they don't know what the fuck you are and what you do. They got to know you. So it's better to be known than to be the best. Because by being known, you'll beat anyone that's the best. 
There's probably people that are better than me in a lot of areas. That's great. But people know me more than they know them. So guess what? I win. Right? When a customer wants to do business with someone, they don't give a fuck about the best product. They always go for the product that they fucking think about all the time. Because they don't know what's the best. How do they fucking know? They have no idea. But they go for the best mar marketed product. I'll tell you that much. Right? I want to market me. So the first thing I want to do is in a sales job, I want everyone and their fucking mother to know my fucking name and attach it to the product that I sell. Why do I not want to sell a lot of products or jump around from fucking product to product or service to service? Who could tell me? Because you're not known for anything. You're confusing the fucking marketplace. They have no idea what you do. They have no idea. One month you're selling phones, next month you're selling this, third month you're selling that, fourth month you're selling this. Nobody knows what the fuck you do, so they don't know who to go to. You understand? So I like people to know me for one fucking thing. Boom. Michael, middle name, Mariah. What's that middle name? That's the question you need to ask yourself. If you, if you think of me, what is that name you think of? What is that one thing you think of? That's what I'm able to think of me. It could be mindset. For most people, it's what? What do people know me as? For what, 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 uh, what topic people could say that Michael's really good at? Maybe. Sales, bro. Sales for the past 10 plus years. Guess what I'm involved in? Sales. 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 And then once you get when you get bigger and you guys start making money, then you can focus on solar and this. But for a very long time, it was focused on one fucking thing. So it's very important to understand that we were focused on what? Building relationships with people. Everyone knew who the fuck I was. When it came to Michael in the in Glendale, Ridgewood, all those zip codes, Michael did Verizon. That's it. I didn't do a thousand things. I did one fucking thing. And I got really good at that because everyone started to know what I did. Flyers, sticky notes, right? I used to get referrals. I used to force people to give me referrals. I'm like, dude, I'm not signing up to give me a referral. I'm like, why would I work hard to get a new customer, a cold customer, when I have a warm customer in your fucking phone? Your friend trusts you more than he trusts me. If he trusts you, I might as well get that fucking name and number. Why would I work hard? It's crazy. I, I never understood this. I never understood this. Why people don't ask for referrals. I have customers that I signed up from Solar. When I signed up the guy from Ad, he gave me his friend, who gave me his friend, who gave me his friend. I literally have customers like that. And I have to give them money for these, for these deals. I don't mind doing that. Here's a fucking 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks. Because you gave me a fucking lead that I have to work hard for. And, these, and this lasts for a long time because I have a relationship with these guys. So this guy gives another guy, right? It just, it just That's how it works. And when you build yourself a good enough business, a good enough network, you don't have to work hard like a fucking dog because people come to you now. Does that make sense? So I'm 460 bucks. I got no fucking money. Okay, I have 460 bucks. What do I do? Nine o'clock. Where am I going? We just finished the gym. I need more what? I need more motherfucking people. Am I thinking about, oh, I need to go find a place to live. Oh, I need to go talk to my mom. The second a customer opens their fucking eyes to the second they put their eyes to sleep, they're available for business. Oh, Michael, it's 9 o'clock at night. It's too late. What? Forget about that. But any product, any service, I have no problem with knocking on the door at 8 in the morning if that's what it's going to take to create success. What does it matter? What time? Who cares about that? If the, let me ask you guys a question. Are you, do you guys believe in what you're doing or do you just do it because it creates money? That's the difference. See, when you believe in something, you know for a fact that I have to get this product, I have to get the service into this customer's hands. Because every single day they don't have the product, every single day they don't have the service, I'm fucking them in the ass. Because by them not having it, they're fucked. They need it. I give you guys an example. You're a doctor. You're providing a medication. Every day the customer does not have their medication, what is that doing to their health? It's declining, it's deteriorating. So I know as a doctor, I have to get this product, this medication into this person's hands, and I have to do it now. Because it's my duty and my responsibility as a doctor to do so for my patient, for my client. That's how I feel as a salesperson. So every day, that I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to be rude. What? It's not about being rude. I have to get it into their hands, guys. So my mind, I'm like, I have 460 bucks. Because I made a bad decision. I'm in this situation. I'm 19 years old. It is what it is. If I start at zero, I have to get people this product and service in their fucking hands. So I don't care if it's not in the morning or not at night. I'm going out there and I'm talking to every single person that is qualified to buy from me. Right? So I'm not going to waste my time talking to random people, but I'm going to find, okay, number one, are they a qualified customer? Meaning, do they have the right credit? Do they have the right money? Do they have the right need to buy my product? Okay? Number two, are they willing to fucking give me their ear? This is a fucking ear, okay? Are they willing to listen to me and have a conversation with me? So are they qualified to buy? Yes. Are they willing to listen to what I have to offer them to do? If not, QTQP, motherfucker, next. Next. I'm okay with that.
So they're willing to listen. And number three, can I get them? Can they? Can they? Can they? Can they do they have the money to buy today? Do they have the funds to buy today? Because sometimes they may need the product, like somebody may need surgery, but they don't have the money that day. So what am I going to do? I'm going to force them to do what? There's no way. They, they cannot pay for it. So they have to be a qualified customer. Do they need it? Do they want it? Are they the kind of customer that needs that product, right? Does it serve their needs? Are they willing to listen to me, right? Are they willing to listen to me and pay attention to what I have to offer them and show them what I need to show them? And number three, do they have the fucking funds to buy the product? If they have the funds and they're willing to listen and they're a qualified customer, what do I do? I sell their fucking ass. Oh, Michael, I don't want to be rude and I don't want to push the customer. What? Dude, if they don't fucking buy the product, I'm screwing them. Do you understand what I'm saying? You need the product. You want the product. It's a qualified customer. They're willing to listen. They have the fucking money. And they want to think about it. They're not thinking about it with me. We'll think about it together. Talk to me about the pain. Talk to me about Usually it's because they don't either like you or they don't trust you. Or they have a lot of fear, doubt, and worry that this product is not going to get them what they want. But if they had the utmost confidence and the utmost belief and they trusted me, guess what they're going to do? They'll buy the fucking product. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it with someone that can actually be impacted by this video. I appreciate you guys. And once again, thank you for showing us support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video.